Hello everyone, it's Living the Good Life and I have a garage sale and estate sale finds video from Thursday, July the 12th and Friday, July the 13th. And it was not a bad day for me. Uh, I actually had a really great day out um, at the estate sales and, and garage sales this Thursday and Friday. And I'm going to break this up into about three different videos for you all. So I'm going to show you what I got. Uh, at two estate sales on Thursday and one garage sale. So let's go ahead and have a look. Um, at the first estate sale, I had a big goose egg. Went to the second one, stood in line about 40 minutes. Everybody ran toward the um, jewelry and I couldn't get anywhere near it. So I went around the table and I found this. Uh, sitting in a crystal dish, turned it over and it says Gorham. Sterling and it was three dollars Then I reached over and saw this about three feet from everyone where everyone was at the um, uh, Jewelry table saw it Here's the mark Yeah, you know how I am I can't see anything CM D oh, who, who knows sterling waited uh, This is a little sugar bowl it is $8. So that went in the bag too. And then I looked at these and I thought, huh. So I looked at them and they are Taxco Sterling. 925, biggest day. They are $8 and there is no liner. They are not weighted. Um, pure Sterling. So that was really great. I have weighed all three of these. They weigh 200 grams. Since this small base is weighted, I took off 20 grams for the cement. 180 grams divided by 31.1 times 0.925 for sterling times $16 an ounce <clears throat> times 70%, which is probably what I'd get if I sold these, gives me $60. I spent $19 and I could get uh, 60 if I sold these um, as is. Um, then I went on to a second uh, garage, uh, estate sale. Again, <laughs> this one had a sign-in sheet. It was so hot and muggy. I stayed in the car after I signed in. Uh, this is Fire King, I think Gay Fad. Is that right, Michelle Thrifting 101? <laughs> and it was $3, so this will match the square casseroles that I got. Uh, so that one is fun. I also found this little Pyrex. I guess it's like a personal casserole. I've looked uh, in my Pyrex books and I didn't see it. I'm sure if I went online, I would find it. It was one dollar. I think the sticker's on here somewhere. One dollar. So got that. Um, I got a couple of things that weren't anything. Um, so that was that day. Uh, then I went to the garage sales. I got to the first garage sale this morning uh, pretty early, but they were all set up. I was just gonna sit in the car but um, they brought out the jewelry for me. I had a look and this is what I got. So I spent $8 at this sale. They were in all these little bags. So there was a $5 bag that had a whole bunch of stuff in it. Um, 25 cent bag, a dollar bag, a 50 cent bag, a $2 bag. So I ended up getting those for $8 and here's what I found. If I could see anything good in them, I went ahead and got it because, you know, it was it was just a good deal. There's these earrings. These set, these are Taxco Sterling. And this one was neat because, you know, one of the clips was off of it. So I could um, weigh them separately and see how much this little clip actually weighs. And it weighs about, two gra about a gram a piece. So if it's the big clip, just a something to keep in mind uh, that's going to be about to add about a gram per um, earring uh, I then found several pendants there's this one I don't know what that green stone is it looks like plastic it says 925 Thailand this one is a white stone with kind of a uh, moonstone kind of looking mother of pearl maybe can't really tell Thailand this one just says 925 with a real stone you can see it in through there 
This one looks more like either Mexican or Native American. Um, this one is black. Also, this one looks Native American. 925 SE. So that would be the maker. Um, here are some. These are with uh, Sterling with the little pink stone. These are by Matthews. Matthews, so I have bought some of theirs before. Can, couldn't really find out much about them. Um, got these. They are also Sterling. Let's say it right there. There are these. These are also Matthews Sterling. Don't know if that is green turquoise. Matthew Sterling. There are these. These are not marked. And they are malachite. Okay. Uh, these are, I got these separately. This was at a, a separate garage sale. This was 50 cents for a little Noah's Ark. And they say 925 right here. I think they're Thailand too. Um, these are Native American. They say Sterling. And there's a figural mark. Look at the little, I don't know if that's a Pueblo or what that is. It's a really interesting mark and the word Sterling is in letters versus just 925. Uh, there's these. They have no mark on them but they look kind of like lapis. Looks like a stone that's been faceted. So I put those out. Uh, there's these. And it says uh, TS. So these are also Mexican. These didn't have any mark on them, but I uh, checked them. It's Logan with Thrift Hunter. Shout out to you. I'm actually using my acids to uh, 18 karat acids to test this and they did turn milky so I went ahead and started testing other things that weren't marked this one is not marked anywhere but it actually turned milky when I uh, tested it so that one appears to be sterling these I tested and then afterwards I did see the 925 but it's so dark down in here you could hardly you could hardly see but I did see it afterward but it turned milky as well and these are not marked and that tested for sterling as well. The things that did not test for sterling, just a little heart, a little circle and necklace. This. I like this even though it's not. Uh, I forgot to test this, but it doesn't look like it. We'll, we'll just I'll test it just to do it. But that was in the baggie. There's this. This, this is a set. So it looks kind of like that uh, jewelry you get in Italy. This tested not a sterling um, card with some earrings on it. I actually like these. They're kind of, they're just fun. Uh, and then some matched earrings. Some of them are Brighton. Some of them are just no name. There was a little flip-flop necklace. This necklace is just plain. There's this key necklace that is, you know, September 27th. Not just any day, old day. So it's my birthday necklace. There's this one. Uh, and then I have a couple up here. This one is a Brighton necklace. It's in the bag. This one. And I would wear that. That's cute. It's got a little rope here. Very plain. And then over here, this is very heavy. And a purple one. best. So some of them are that best brand. Hope you enjoyed everything. Please let me know if you have any questions, any words of wisdom to give me. Uh, I'd appreciate your subscription if you like this type of thing and press like and I just adore comments. Please send me a note. Bye-bye.